Hello guys, my name is Samuel Dola and I'm the founder of dropshippingit.com It is a blog where I talk about how to start dropshipping business Tips and tricks of scaling your dropshipping business as a newbie Or if you need to advance your dropshipping skills as an expert You are more than welcome to check out my blog A dropshipping business simply means an e-commerce business model That allows you to sell products that you don't have in stock Or you don't have inventory of Inventory means buying product in bulk and having them in a store somewhere in your house renting out a warehouse where your product are shipped packaged and you know delivered to the customers from your home or your vicinity so it means you are in control of the inventory but now with drop shipping business it requires you not to be with stock or be in control of inventory it gives you the power to sell products that you don't see you don't package you don't ship and you don't handle stock for instance this is my teleprompter remote suppose I wanted to sell this remote on my site but I don't have the cash to buy this remote in bulk to ship it to, to, to my country brand it and sell it drop shipping business allows you to do this without you shipping this product to your place so what you do find a reliable supplier we use Aliexpress for retailing purposes so when you go to Aliexpress you're going to browse the suppliers who supplying a Bluetooth speaker because I know it will be hard for us to find this so let's just go with a wireless Bluetooth speaker so this is Shopify e-commerce platform okay so when you type www.shopify.com or just type Shopify on Google you'll get a direct link to Shopify a landing page so this is where we create a uh, the Shopify store this is just the the you know the outside of Shopify uh, what you'll get how it works so when you click on start free trial it gives you a 14 days uh, free trial before they charge you as I previously said but we're not doing that now we're going to do it in the next minute uh, uh, under how to create a Shopify store from scratch so uh, when you type Shopify apps so it takes you straight to Shopify marketplace for all the apps so here you can browse the apps that you want to use uh, in your Shopify store you can browse the apps based on the categories okay when you click here it gives you apps based on the categories do you want apps for finding product to sell like drop shipping like desserts you want apps that helps you with conversion as i previously said these are apps that are designed for marketing increasing your, your orders or do you want to sell more stuff you know their their apps are categorized based on what you want to achieve so for instance if i click find products to sell it will take me straight to apps that are designed to help me find product to sell so all these are drop shipping apps pocket is a drop shipping app that are just like uh, Aliexpress but they are based in the United States so they ship their shipping is more faster compared to Aliexpress the only disadvantage with Pocket they don't have a, a large database of products so all these are apps that you can install in your dropshipping store based on you know the category of click on these as click hard app it will be added to your dropshipping store immediately so you can also read about a specific card before you decide to add it to your store so you know what you are getting into you can read the description the pricing plans as i told you uh, these as a free plan and they also have a, a monthly plan okay it all depends with what you want what you want to achieve you also can go through the reviews of a specific uh you know specific app before you install them so just play around with shopify okay the moment you create us you create the store you'll not be able to see these apps the way i'm seeing them now because i'm outside uh, shopify so when you log in you'll get another different interface which is more friendly and easy to use than the outside one than the one that i'm seeing right now you can as well also you know just uh, search shopify uh themes let me just do that shopify themes same as the shopify apps you can also browse the shopify themes based on what you want to achieve as you can see their themes are here they are hot and uh, they are fresh so these are their themes as you can see uh, their pricing ranges from 180 to about so this one is 320 you know 250 to 50 they all they all have different pricing but what i like about shopify uh, they control the pricing a developer will not just come and list their shopify app or theme and list 
list it at their own price no shopify has a way of pricing the, the apps and themes on their platform okay uh, you can browse themes based on the collection based on the industry and you can even you know say let's say work with shopify market shopify market is the listed innovation of shopify whereby it gives you option of listing your website or store in their marketplace so so large catalog you can click when you click on large catalog it gives you uh, uh, you know shopify apps uh, themes that can handle large catalog which means large product so if you are interested in a specific theme maybe like this one you click on it then you can even view the demo of that theme uh, before you commit buying it you see how the theme looks like in both mobile version and in in desktop version so you browse through it you see if this the theme that you like and you want to buy it you can just place an order with shopify you can also see the mobile version of it by clicking this icon here now this is the mobile version this is how people customers are seeing your store on the mobile which is very important when you are designing your store focus on the mobile version because 90 percent of customers who buy online are on their mobile phones so they also have different theme styles the same thing you can choose metal or wood then you'll see the the demo changing to different style so this kind of hoodie hoodie you see the theme has changed the same thing but now this kind of you know home improvement furniture and stuff so you can also check on the, the the mobile version of it make sure when you're designing your store the image that you're using should be at the center on the mobile uh, version of your store so guys uh this time we create our first shopify store we are going to use shopify for our drop shipping store so don't worry uh if you you know maybe you're you're wondering why are we not using something called drop shipping so we create a drop shipping store on shopify so this is the platform uh, in our previous video i explained uh, more about it but i'm going to explain in detail uh, after we've signed up so this course uh, objective is to make you understand make you learn and make you do it on your own so we'll need uh, an email so I just use a random email let me see if it can accept my email because i've i've signed up a lot of shopify store before so just enter let's say samuel dollar 24 at at gmail.com then you click on uh, start free trial so then this one will pop up this one gives you uh, it is a uh, it gives you 14 days trial which means you are going to be on shopify for 14 days without paying anything okay then after choosing your password now the whatever you see here is the store name this is what you are going to use to access your back office this is uh, the, the 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 name here is not going to be shown to the customer or whoever is good or whoever is going to see your site so you can choose you can it can either be your name or you can choose something different so if you don't want something that they've suggested for you you can even choose something different sasa nani okay sasa nani is available the swahili word which means uh, how are you doing we are going to use this sasa nani as our store so whenever you want to access your backend office you are going to type sasa nani dot my dot com slash admin okay then next you need to click on create your store so this is gonna take a few seconds to be created so normally shopify like collecting data about their their new customer they want to know uh, this the level that you are with drop shipping or with your store remember shopify is not meant for 100 percent meant for drop shipping there are store owners who will just come here and there are store owners who just want to use shopify for product that they don't drop ship so shopify is not just for drop shippers alone but anyone who want to have an online store so when you come here you can uh, either choose any you can just say i'm just playing around i'm not selling i sell with different system i'm selling just i'm selling just not online so i can say i'm not selling product yet this is just a survey that helps them know you better or if you don't want to fill all this you can simply skip but for the sake of the training we are going to fill all of them so in addition to your shopify store where else would you like to sell i uh, say choose instagram facebook google other social medias you know you are not doing in person then you click next then where will your business be located you can say us or kenya 
or where whenever you want your business to be located but just make sure you have the papers of that specific country so if you want your business to be united states make sure you have llc limited liability company if you're in uk make sure you have a uk uh, limited company and you have a uk address home address and office address so that uh, whenever uh, they'll need uh, documentation when it comes to setting up your payment gateway which i'm going to explain later you'll be able to provide such documents so for now we just say our store in kenya or you can just say your store is in united states it all depends with your country okay it doesn't matter so you just i'll just say by default it has detected i'm in kenya then i just say enter my store so this is our store sasanani is already set up and this is the first uh you know interface you are going to see on shopify so this is your back end office which of course i want to explain everything for you to understand so under orders these are the this is the tab where you find all your orders customers details email shipping address the number of products they bought which type of product they bought color variant size and how if there's a personal note they've left you behind you're going to find it here so drafts drafts are orders that you're working on you can create a draft order you want to see how a product will look like or you want to create a draft order to send to to send a link to someone who wants to buy that specific product and maybe maybe it is not live on your store so you keep it as a draft then you send that link as an invoice to someone who will buy it okay so this just draft we rarely use the draft section in dropshipping abandoned checkouts are checkouts that did not complete a buyer or customer came to your site started you know entering their details for to purchase a specific product then something distracted them and they left the the session without completing completing in this sense means that they did not complete the purchase they did not put their paypal they did not had their credit card and you know the part the, the sale did not go through so pay, shopify captures their details here their email their address so you can use you know this section to retarget them or to send them a reminder uh, about whatever that they were doing that uh, they did not complete this section is used a lot in paid advertisement where you can retarget those who did not complete checkout on your shopify store through running another promotion or another advertisement targeting them on whatever platform that they were accessing your ad from okay under products these are all the products in your store if you have 50 products after the you've imported them to your shopify store you'll see them here okay you'll see the product name the product images the product description the product prices plus the collection you've tagged the product in so here you can delete a product you can also add a product you can also you know merge a product you can do everything that you want under the product session here you can also edit the product image add a, uh, add logos add, add writing to product images rearrange the images add video to the product page you can do absolutely everything you want to do with your product under the product you know tabs inventory as i said there are people who sell physical product they have their own products so here is the inventory which which means just the stock you'll see the number of products they have how many variants are available how many colors are available and the ones that are running out of stock this tab keeps you helps you maintain the stock on your shopify store if you are selling a physical product let's say you wanted to sell maasai garments or you wanted to sell maasai ornaments so this is where you'll be seeing them because every moment you you had a product to shopify store it will ask you how many are in stock it keeps tracking that number anytime a customer places an order so the number will reduce and you'll get a lot and also you'll be able to see uh, the metrics on this tab under the inventory transfer if you want to transfer inventory this deals with physical uh, products you can transfer one inventory to another uh, if you have another shop that is running out of stock you can transfer inventory from this store to another store collection simply means the categories okay so if you are selling let's say 50 products in your shopify store and they're from different categories let's say hiking camping skydiving blah 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 then you come here and create the collection that you want so if it is 10 collection you'll be create collection and you know tag the product in the specific collection we are going to do that so that you get to to understand so gift cards let's say it is in valentine 
and you are you want to promote uh, you know lovers you know couples and stuff you create a gift card okay so this gift card can be for occasion or can be just for uh, someone will come to your store to buy a gift card to give someone they love to come back to the store to do shopping you all understand how gift cards works so you can create your gift card here if it's for mother's day it can be a mother's day gift card plus the discounts you want plus the condition how many times this gift card can be used at uh, the expiry of this gift card and everything so you'll be able to do that here so this we, we normally use during you know these events you know uh, black friday mother's day father's day uh, valentine's etc the under the tab customers you're going to see all the your customers the ones that you sold products to okay their details are here so if you want to use their emails for email marketing or some other things like you know promotions blah 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 you can come here and extract that analytics is where you track your store activities so analytics is connected to google analytics connected to facebook pixel it is connected to all your marketing platform which of course we're going to show you how to install uh you know facebook pixel and other and other analytics that are required for your shopify store so here you'll be able to see your total sales of the day uh online store session where are they coming from the percentage of returning customers all they just give you your store performance they will tell you how many customer had the added a specific product to cut and how many reached checkout there's a difference between adding a product to cart you go to a specific store you add a product to cart then you leave okay then there's a guy who goes to the store add product to cart then you reach checkout meaning he had entered the payment gateway or the credit card then he or she forget then there's a guy who does all this then he complete the session so you're going to see all this you're going to see top product by unit sold which product is top selling how many you are selling in a day in a month and you are selling from where so all this just helps you to understand your store growth and how you are performing okay so it will make more sense after you've launched and you have your first sale the empty data that you're seeing right now will be all filled with details the moment you start running you know your advertisement reports is same as analytics but in sales version so it gives you your accusation percentage uh, sales in the last 30 days number of orders the average order value profit margin that you are making per product or per per month so it just gives you behaviors of those who are shopping on your store so just another extension of analytics that helps you you know understand more about your shopify store live view is <laughs> it shows you how many people are live on your store as of now so right now this, this this store is new so no one is live apart from me so but it will show you on this map how many people are live on the store okay they'll say maybe 200 people plus they'll pin their location on this map and the the map will also show you how many people are making sales are making a purchase how many people are adding product to cart so it gives you a real time you know uh, data of your store you can choose specific countries you can you can play around with it to see so suppose there were people online on the site you'll see the blue the blue will rep represent visitors then the green greenish will represent sales those who have purchased products so this this feature is very helpful more so when you are launching uh, a new product line or you are testing a new you know a new product okay so before before we started doing you know facebook cards and stuff uh we used to connect our marketing platform directly to, to shopify but right now under marketing uh, F shopify allows you to integrate the apps on its platform let's say facebook app snapchat everything that you want to use for your marketing so after integrating them when you click on marketing you'll see the result each is giving you okay based on the platform that you've integrated this is just all about marketing okay and your campaigns are they all are the currently active campaigns you are running on either facebook or tiktok because your shopify store is going to be connected to something called pixel which tracks all the 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 the, the, the action your ads is bringing and the actions that your customers are taking uh by clicking when they click on a specific ad 
so this just help you with the marketing aspect and understanding everything so if you want to automate your marketing which i don't recommend this is the tab where you can do it okay the only automated that we do is the abandoned checkout email which helps when someone abandons uh, a cart you are going to configure this app which is abandoned checkout emails by shopify they are going to be reminded by this to go check the product that they were uh, they were browsing or the one that they were adding to cart so this one app allows you to create custom emails uh, you can configure them the way you want you can control after how long the emails are going to be sent to the customer that did not complete a specific action uh, what offer are you going to give them uh, in most cases you can give 15 percent of 10 percent of uh, it all deals with marketing okay i'm going to show you how to set up abandoned checkout emails by shopify discounts uh, you can create discount codes for specific function let's say if you are not doing gift cards on valentine you can create a, uh, a discount code you can say I use Valentine 2022 to get 20% off on any product that you purchase during Valentine. So you control the expiry date of this code, how many times it can be used in specific IP address and how long uh, it can be used. Under apps, this is where you see all the Shopify app surface is going to change because we are not in Shopify in the previous video. But right now we are in Shopify, so the interface has changed. You can now see another interface of the Shopify apps. So if you need to install an app, you simply can click on any of this if the if it is one of the apps that you need to install or you can say view more apps in this collection or you can say go to shopify app uh, marketplace where you'll be able to see all the apps uh, that are available for you on shopify sales channel is where you had specific sales channel like facebook is a sales channel google is a sales channel you can even click here and add tiktok as a sales channel you see them you can add all these sales channel to your shopify store but the availability of this sales channel will depend with your location you know because i chose kenya now i cannot see other sales channel that i normally see when i choose uh, you know us or uk so all the sales channel that you are using in marketing will be appearing here so if you're using tiktok pinterest snapchat they all be here so when you click a specific let's say facebook it will give you an option to integrate create your facebook with shopify you'll we'll see a step-by-step -step guide how to connect your facebook to your shopify okay so it will tell you do you want you want to update sales channel or do you want to connect it okay so you say update sales channel then it will connect your facebook your facebook pages and facebook uh, business to this uh, to shopify so the same applies to google and when you click on online store this is whereby you control everything in terms of design of your shopify store in terms of the themes in terms of the you know how you want your shopify store to look like a menu which of course we call navigation here and so when you click on online store the first thing is theme so this is your theme by default shopify gives you a default free theme now this is the theme as you can see this is the mobile version this is the desktop version if you want to customize this theme we'll do that later you simply click customize and you'll be able to customize the theme so we have the free themes and we have shopify themes which are paid and these are the free themes so when we reach there we'll do everything step by step blog post if you want to to start blogging okay, on shopify you can simply be adding articles on this section just like any kind of blogging pages is where you create your legal pages let's say about us why you shop with us our story just like creating a normal page or a post you write something when you click add page you'll be able to add a page to your shopify with the content image videos and how you want it to to be navigation is menu so this is where we're going to set our menu add new menu create new menu arrange them so that you be in control how your products are displayed and how your collections are displayed on shopify home page okay preferences is where we write what we want uh, the search engines to see plus what customers are going to see so uh, i'm going to show you how to set up all this this is what when people come to your store they'll be seeing they'll be reading it maybe your one stop store for what blah 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 and also the home page description for your store the default image for social media we are going to set all this google analytics how to set google analytics how to set up facebook pixel you know the customer privacy plus you know the the newly gdpr uh, policy which is a must for shopify store owners and also password protection this one protect your store from being seen by anyone online because you've not paid for shopify plan so you cannot disable this unless you choose a plan and also had a credit card okay now uh 
Uh, let's let's talk about the Shopify settings. We are not configuring them, but just uh, me explaining to you what each uh, section and a setting does. So when you come to just be below the online store, when you click on setting, you see all your store details, the store name, Sasanani, and you know, and also the URL. As I told you, this is the URL you need to access this backend. So whenever you want to access your backend, you can simply just, you know, copy paste sasanani.myshopify.com slash admin. Then it will ask you for, you know, the password and email and password for you to be logged in. So a uh, setting basically shows you uh, the, the store details and also giving you option of configuring few stuff like shipping, taxes, payment gateways, billing, and also controlling, you know, the users who can access your store as staff plus their role. So I'm going to explain that in a bit. So you'll see the store name is Sasanani and you can also edit if you don't want, you don't want, you want to change specific things. You can say, you can change the store name from Sasanani to something else. It can be now, uh, after buying the domain name, you can put your domain name here not with the dot com or dot uh, just the domain name suppose you bought sasanani.com you can just leave it as sasanani because i'm going to show you how to buy domain name on shopify and how to connect an existing domain name that is bought outside shopify so you can change few things here if you want to change if you register a company let's say sasanani limited or sasanani llc you'll just type it here if you want your store to be under specific industry you can change that by just coming here. Suppose you are selling beauty products or toys or sports or you are in photography. You can simply, you know, if, or maybe if you are just a virtual assistant using Shopify uh, store, you can just say I'm selling virtual assistant services. And by the way, you can sell virtual assistant services on Shopify. You can sell anything on Shopify. Okay, so uh, you can we can change to jewelry. Then after changing, you just say save, save changes. Okay, but now in any time that you change, uh, you make any changes, you are required to put your phone number. My phone number is not here, uh, so now I'll just put key in my phone number, and you can contact me using this phone number for dropshipping business related. You can WhatsApp me, no problem. Twenty-nine, so it is zero seven ninety-three six ninety twenty-nine. So then you save changes okay oh sorry i have to say the street and everything sorry about that so i'll just give it randoms you know then i'll scroll down to see if there's anything else that i'm missing out none they'll click on save so it must be content letters with the street here so i can say Uruguay way and so it has been saved so when you come to store currency, you can also control the store currency. You can say Kenya shillings, USD, uh, pounds, or you know uh, any uh, any currency based on the country that you are in. Okay. So I leave all these metrics the way they are. This is for the weight. Uh, metric system uh, default weight is kilogram. Okay. Uh, I never, I never interfere with these uh, settings. I just leave them the way they are. So when you come to, that is the store details. When you come to plan, you are going to see the current plan that your Shopify is on. And also you can update, you can change the plan here, or you can deactivate uh, trial. So you can deactivate trial and opt out of to Shopify, or you can choose a plan. So when you click choose a plan, it's going to give you the plans that I showed you earlier before, okay? So also here yeah, you'll be able to you know to add your payment method even though payment method is handled under billing so when you go to billing this is where you you find your payment method the payment method that you're using to pay for shopify subscription this is not the payment method you are using for you know uh you, you are using for customers who are coming to your store to buy products this is the payment method that shopify is billing you uh every month you have shopify apps that requires payment every month they're going to deduct their money from the payment method that you've attached here so when you add you click add payment method there are, there are variety of payment method payment method that you can do you have card and paypal based on the location but in other 
countries they have like a like 10 payment method available for them to use on shopify okay and also under subscription we're going to see all the subscription based apps on your shopify as of now we only have shopify which ends on 26th and also tell you uh, when they will be billing you so it is on 26th of every month okay so you just have to play around with this to understand more so users and permission so with this basic plan we are allowed to have two users two users mean two people can work on your store each creating their own password but the admin controls the role of those you know whoever that is going to work on the store so if you are a star if you're adding a staff you can add a staff here and also you can choose the role that you want them to play in your store there are all these roles here you can also give them full admin access you know when you select everything here like select all you're giving them the same access you have uh, as the admin but they cannot delete you from the store but they can do everything that you can do on the store apart from adding new people and also deleting you or changing you so this is just adding if you have a virtual assistant or you have a customer care who is handling support on your shopify store when you enter their name here first and last name plus the email they are going to receive an email from shopify requesting them to sign up you've been added as a staff in a specific store here's a uh, here is the link they'll sign up and they also create their password you as the admin you'll not be able to see their password and you'll not be able to log into that specific store you'll be able to collaborate between you two or depending on the shopify plan you've chosen other plans allow up to five staff members to be added to one shopify store okay so the payment methods is where we configure the payment method you want to use okay for this is what the customers are going to use to pay for products so when you choose click on choose provider you'll see the payment method that available for you as in the country that you are living so the the ones that are not available for your country they'll be written not available in your country and you can even type here specifically say stripe if it is available it is there but not available in our country I have a way of bypassing this. I offer Stripe services for non-US resident. The link is below this video. You can click on it, then I'll take you through the process and I'll give you uh, Stripe. Uh, because Stripe is not available in, in, in your country. Mostly it is available in US, UK, Europe countries, you know, and other countries that, you know, they have a list of countries that they operate in, okay? so there's a way we bypass this i use stripe in most of my stores so if you if you want stripe let me know but you can use your paper your normal paypal uh, even though paypal is uh, people fear dropshippers fear paypal because it has a lot of limitation a lot of bans a lot of restriction and once you know you are drop shipping you may wake up one day find your store is a uh, uh, they've banned your store, they've limited your store and they're holding on to your funds for 180 days, okay? So you don't want something that is going to mess up uh, the flow of cash while you've launched the dropshipping store because you need that flow of cash to make purchases when clients, when customers place, place, place an order or to run ads and to make, to pay for apps, services and etc. So you need a convenient payment gateway or payment method so this is where you set up the payment gateway of your choice so uh, for the locals you know their payment gateway like mpesa which can be integrated and depending on the location there you'll see a lot of payment method when you click add payment method you can search by provider or you can search a specific payment method if you have one in mind and it is not listed there also you can integrate a payment method using the shopify backend apis which allows you to connect your shopify with a provider of your own payment method of your own as long as it is approved by shopify so checkout this is where you control your checkout process watch notification what you need to you know for instance uh, custom accounts do you want customers to have account while they're signing up when they're placing an order or do you want them to to buy an order as guest so we we prefer don't use accounts because it will take time for someone to sign up on your store then is when they make a note it can put some people hopefully just wanted to come buy product and go 
they don't need to be a member of your Shopify store. So I always leave this as don't use uh, accounts. Uh, the customer contact method, uh, I leave it at phone number or email. So uh, when they are doing the checkout process, there's a form they fill that will require them to include their phone number and email so that in case the order has, a, has any issue, you can use the, the detail given there to contact them. Okay, select how customer can choose to get shipping updates. So I normally choose SMS or email depending on the country. If you're in US, UK, you can choose show a link to download the shop, shop app. Shop app is not available for, uh, for some of us who are living outside the United States. So custom information, you can choose, you need the require the first and last name. You don't, you don't say only require last name because which means uh, the product, the product can be shipped to the wrong person. You need their first and last name. And uh, in the form, do you need the, the customer to add company name? We don't need that because it is not in our business. Address uh, line two is optional. Okay, so, and also Shopify allows you to receive tip. Okay, if you want to, to receive tip, you simply enable show tipping option at checkout. For those who just want to tip you for selling a good product. So you can select uh, how you want to be tipped. Is it 5% of the product? or to, to, You give them option. They can choose 5%, 10%, 15%. So when they're doing checkout, that 5% of the total product, uh, of the, the, the total cost of the product will be tipped to you. Okay, and all these are just, I just leave this as, you know, uh, I just leave this as a, as, a, as as default the way they are if you have a custom script for order 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 status page you can add it here but uh, everything else i don't touch i just leave it the way they are by default so on to our next is shipping and delivery under shipping and delivery you control your shipping rates your shipping zones and how you are going to charge product based on the kgs so here you, you'll be able to set up your shipping rates so let's say if you click on manage you will be able to see your shipping zones and shipping rates so shipping from shop location is kenya so it, it, it detects your shop location in case kenya you can change this so you can change this to shipping from us shipping from china to kenya is free and also shipping to the rest of the world is free over here you can control all this you can set up if the product i was selling is is from kenya let's say the kikoi's the 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 maasai ornaments and stuff i'll specify uh, the shipping rates based on the product weight the product weight is set when you are uploading a physical product to shopify you'll come here and say a product that is weighing 0 to 10 kg is free a product is weighing 10 kg to 20 kg is 2300 so i'm going to set up all this so that you'll be able to see even though with drop shipping we set everything as free shipping so you won't be charging anybody shipping because uh, we cover the shipping cost in, in the product cost and the product that you're going to ship from aliexpress let's say the the bluetooth speaker was 71 dollars when you bring it to your shopify store you are going to charge it at maybe 169 uh, that 169 is inclusive of the shipping that we would have been charged by aliexpress shipping that product to the customer so if they it is a, if it has a free shipping then it is advantage to us because you've doubled the price we've earned an extra coin on shipping so with the drop shipping business you are not required to set up any shipping we well, saw so this one so in our case you we're going to, to delete this one after deleting you simply say oh let me see if we, we have not saved it let me just do something here let me refresh it instead of deleting you can simply edit okay so it will show all the product in your shopify store as of now we don't have any product in our shopify store so and uh, shipping to kenya it's free you can when you click on these three dots can edit rates or delete the zone uh, this is zone so this is zone kenya is a zone and this is the ratings to that zone so the rest of the world we are shipping at 2300 or you can simply say edit okay then say the shipping to to the rest of the world which meaning any other country apart from kenya is also free then you say 
done if you want to set some condition you say this shipping is only free based on item weight then you say 0 to 10 kg and suppose a product is above 10 kg you are going to set up another setting right here that says 10 to 20 kg is shipping at this specific amount and for our case we simply don't need any shipping so we simply say remove condition then add done so product shipping from our store to kenya is free and also to the rest of the world is free customers love free shipping okay so that is shipping and delivery so this will make more sense after we've added product to the shopify store then we'll come back here and set up everything so you you can set up your tax based on the country that you are operating from uh basically don't touch and do the tax i just drop ship because at the end of the day i'm remitting tax through paypal through stripe whenever i receive an order or a sell uh, my sales are taxable but if you want to do real tax and everything you'll come here and say whatever uh, on the on top of the product cost you want to add tax so you'll be able to select this then you'll select uh, the charge the tax rate you want to display on your product if it is 16 percent vt 13 vat you'll display it so that whenever they buy tax is added on top of the product cost but with drop shipping we, we don't do that because when you when a product is 79 dollars minus tax then you want to add tax on top of it it is a it will put off whoever that is uh, want to buy the product from you so under tax i don't touch anything when it comes to drop shipping business suppose you are running a physical store or maybe you're in the us you're in the uk where tax is very 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 little you have to to adhere to that also based on the plans like in advanced plans it comes with Shop shopify collects duties and import tax for you so you don't have to do it uh, by yourself okay guys so uh under location the free basic plan comes with four location you can choose specific location by default where you want your product to be stocked you want them to be stocked in kenya us uk that is if you're selling physical product with drop shipping you are flexible you don't even need to set up the location but i i do recommend you set up location uh based on where you want the store to sell products to so if it is uk you love a uk location and also i previously uh, advised you to also get documentation that is going to support your location so markets are primarily where you want your product to be sold to so primary market is kenya by default because i'm in kenya they shop if i think so so if you have like saseni.com then africa.saseni.com then us so if your website have different versions of url uh when someone goes to the specific website the main one the website will detect their geolocation and will present them a pop-up like this and uh, that to to we have another uh, version of our site in your local uh demographic then it will I will re redirect them to that specific. For instance, right now I'm using Kenya shillings, but when someone view this store in US, it will be in dollars without using currency converters. The sales channels we already talked about. We're going to talk about the domains. The domain name, this this way you can buy a domain name. Okay, you can buy a domain name from Shopify. When you click on buy a domain name, it gives you option of searching. For instance, we can search Sasanani to see if it is available if it is not available the domain name is available sasanani you have to pay 14 dollars per year for you to use this domain name and if you don't want to use this dom you, don't, you don't want to use shopify as a domain name provider you can simply connect existing domain name you can buy a domain name from namecheap godaddy siteground bluehost or Sgeta. then uh there's an instruction here how to transfer to shopify when you click this inter inst instruction it shows you how to change the the host name and the you know the text the host name and also the dns servers to point to shopify so when that is done after maybe 24 hours 
your domain name will be reflecting under domain names and your Shopify homepage will have the default the the, the premium domain name that you just bought uh, from a third party okay uh, we've talked about all this apart from what have you not discovered brand is the you want to brand your store uh, so here's where you set your logos you set your default image feature you set your colors you know secondary colors your cover for image your slogan a short description of your store and also all the social links that are available if you're on facebook tiktok you have to attach it there this helps with brand identity whenever if you want to be serious about drop shipping or owning a shopify store this is a must you can create the brand colors on canva or canva gives you an option of having a brand identity colors so whenever you want to to play around with your brand colors you simply go to canva select the brand colors that you already saved and it will apply to whatever design that you are you are designing at that particular moment the notification is a configuration space where you control how you want people to customers to be notified whenever they they receive order confirmation you, when you click on this it gives you option of editing okay this is this is this is this is the the order confirmation this is what they get hello thank you for your purchase uh you will receive an email when your order is ready for pickup blah 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 we are getting your order is ready for delivery uh we are uh, getting your order ready to be shipped so all these the, the the notification customers get whenever they ship they buy product from your shopify store so we have a uh, order confirmation order edited okay order invoice order cancel order refund draft order abandoned point of sale checkout these are doesn't apply to us not all that applies to drop shipping okay so if you want to play around with all this not notification you can write your own notification by simply clicking on specific notification uh then you edit you don't need to do the local pickup you know you don't need to do the customer invite um, you, you know uh, you don't need to to you don't need to edit all of them just specific specific that applies to your nature of business normally i don't touch here i only touch the order confirmation i have a script to it and you can also write your own script just you know how you want the customer to be in touch with your business okay now meta meta fields we all we we talked about it under preference uh so this one is just writing short description of this section so this is just part of seo that we talked about previously files are all the files that if you are selling suppose you are selling downloadable products or service or virtual you know uh, you, you are running a store that when whenever someone buys something they'll get a downloadable link to that product all the files will be here all your images the ones you use on shopify the videos will be here for you to access okay languages you set the languages you want for your drop shipping business or for your shopify store so you can add specific languages english uh, spanish blah 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 it is not important by because by default shopify is in english unless you want to to market your store to a specific niche a, spe a specific demographic then you can change this english to spanish or you know whatever language or country you want your store to target after you've done everything and the policy these are the policy pages uh, that we i'll show you how to generate later these are the refund policy privacy policy terms of service shipping policy you can create it on your own so shopify has already made template that when you click create from template it will create refund policy for you customers are going to read whenever they they want answers to how fast you are shipping or how do you handle refund suppose the products doesn't reach uh, the intended customer and how do you do do you handle you know uh privacy pol privacy are you going to use their data are you going to use their information to sell it blah 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 so by default shopify has given you a template so when you click create from template it's going to generate uh, a refund policy a refund policy is generally same thing across all shopify stores but if you have a specific refund policy that you want 
to write for your Shopify store, you can simply edit this or write your own. So you can generate uh, all this template. You see now this is the privacy policy, how you are using the information, blah, blah, blah. Are you intending to sell it? You know, in terms of use, you can also generate this or you can write your own or you can hire a lawyer to write you your own. Under shipping policy, you can create your shipping policy or you can decide to just copy an existing shipping policy, edit it to make it yours. Shipping policy, you are telling the customers how long your product is going to take before it reaches them. And in case they don't, it, the product doesn't reach them, what's the next call? To, what's the next action you are going to take? And how are you going to involve them? Uh, so after you've done all this, you simply click save template and it will be saved. Uh, later, I'll be showing you how to make these legal pages appear on your menu so that is basically explaining a uh, shopify section i call this section then i call this setting so uh the next is adding our first product to shopify and before we add our first product to shopify we need to install specific apps that will enable us to add those specific product from aliexpress to Shopify. So AliExpress is a sister company to Alibaba. The interface and the home page may look similar because they are from the same company. So uh, the product you're going to see on AliExpress interface or home page is based on your online activities, cookies and caches. So they tend to use also the algorithms to match whatever product they think is suitable for you or that they think you may buy. They don't know you are doing dropshipping business. They have no idea. You are doing dropshipping business. They're just treating you as a normal customer. So when you come to AliExpress, this is their home page. So, okay, like I said, you can search a product using the keyword and also you can search a product using an image, which I'm going to show you later. But for now, the product we talked about was a wireless Bluetooth speaker. So let's just type that and also you'll get suggestion whenever you're typing something. You'll have thousands of results based on whatever you're searching. These are all Bluetooth speakers, portable Bluetooth speakers, okay? So the product price is based on your country. You can change this by just coming here and saying, I'm not in Kenya, I'm in United States. Always choose United States for you to see top selling product from their site. And also you can use a VPN if you want to see product that are really doing well in the United States when you log into AliExpress, the, the home page will be showing you product that are doing well on that side. We have, uh, the result are still the same, but it has been altered a bit. So this is the top product based on the result. We've not filtered anything. So it is $18, it has 2,913 orders. It has 4.7 ratings. So what you do, if you don't want to see this result, you want to filter it more, you can still come here by saying orders. This is best match the way I told you based on the keyword you've inserted here. Uh, you can say, I want to see the product result page based on the number of orders. So when you click on orders, uh, it is going to refresh and give you the product with the highest number of orders. As you can see, the, the interface has changed. So here we have another speaker, which is $79, $71, sorry, with 8,000 orders and 4.8 uh, ratings. So on AliExpress, the rate are still based from one to five. Communication, shipping, product matching, the image and description. Okay, and the whole experience is also rated. So this is the leading product based on orders. You can also filter product based on the price. If you want the wireless Bluetooth speaker, the result to, to show only product based on a specific product price range, let's say $10 to $30, then when you say okay, all this will change to something else, okay? You can also specify one product that has shipping from specific country, you can say United States, then this 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 interface will change. So, lucky, lucky enough, this product is shipping from United States. So, in on AliExpress, we have two different types of shipping. I think there are three or four. Oh, products majorly ships from China, others they have others they have warehouse in united states 
so when you buy a product it will take less time to to reach the customers okay so you can filter all this also you can say i need only result for product that offers free shipping this one is still appearing i need product with four star and above so it will be still here because it had 4.8 okay now so if this is the product that we want to go with you click on it so this is the product as you as you can see the product has a video which is added advantage as i told you uh, if the supplier has a product video you can take this video and find related related video to this product and give it to your videographer who, who then is going to edit and make the product video look like it is from you and it is only you who is selling uh the product we have dropshipping video design service i'll leave a link in this description you suppose you need a professionally done dropshipping video let's start with the header here the store is me for official store it is a top brand on aliexpress so when a store on aliexpress is a top brand it means it has been there for many many years with many many good reviews and the product is of the highest quality they have the best feedbacks from customers and they are very honest so they don't just give you a top brand badge for just selling a great product but how long you've been on aliexpress your shipping time uh does the product match the product that you are purporting to sell and what are the customers saying after every sale that is successfully completed on aliexpress they don't, they don't they normally send a feedback form to customers despite the one that you are leaving on the suppliers page they also want to know your interaction with the supplier so as you can see this store has over 104,000 followers so when you click on follow just like on twitter when you click on follows you'll be you'll be getting notification when this the, when this store is posting new products having uh, discounts promotion sales and also you you'll be able to access this store under your favorite stores okay so this store has is a top brand with 97.9 percent feedback uh and most of the feedback left or if this is above average uh it, 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 it is a good sign for you to go with this store because some stores this will be below average below average below average as you can see item as described is 4.8 communication 4.8 shipping speed is 4.8 okay so all this is above average which gives you a green light to work with the, this supplier and also you can read the the reviews left by the customers okay so since i've selected my country here to be us it will start with the united states review so this store has 89 percent a five star and the rest are split in between so as you can see this was 2021 20, review excellent product delivery all promise sound box perfect so far found no defect so meaning the product is good and also when you're going through the feedbacks on all the reviews focus on the feedback that are left from customer from us canada uk and these g8 countries okay so this is how to use aliexpress as a drop shipper so you can browse through products you can browse through stores you can even copy paste whatever specific store is doing okay when you come to top ranking these are top ranking brands on aliexpress if you are struggling with finding a product finding a niche you can simply come here pick a store and duplicate everything that they are doing on their store you can even uh, use their own branding colors and stuff okay so for instance uh this is a uh, handheld game players when you click on this it is the most popular now but on this side these are top trending top trending so let's just say the most popular or top well, let's go with the top trending for instance when you click on top trending it will show you the top trending stores that are selling handheld game controllers as we saw there so what you do you simply click on the store then you sell everything they are selling because it is working for them on aliexpress it will definitely work for you outside aliexpress for instance this one has uh, recommended for you so when you click shop it will take you to the specific store selling this specific product okay so this is the store as you can see it is top brand 96.5 everything is above average okay that is the first thing you check then check the number of orders so what you do 
na if you want to copy paste everything this store is doing you simply come here to store home, home page this one eh? you click here and it will take you to the store home page this is the product page one product page from that store but now this is the store where you'll find everything that they sell so if this is your niche you simply come here and copy design a website like this using the theme colors everything the way you see it here then you can you know start selling these products so you can find their odd selling products here when you click on top selling it will show you their odd selling product and how many orders they are doing for, for every product so this is their hot selling product but you can filter by orders also to show the product with the highest number so when you click on orders it may change or it may, it may not so this is the hot selling product as of now this professional portable travel camera uh, tripod i think so it has 863 orders okay so there's more to AliExpress that we're going to talk about as we continue this course but as as of now i just wanted to introduce to you aliexpress so this is aliexpress dropshipping center the our first method of product research as i said drop, aliexpress dropshipping center is a special section for dropshippers like me and you who want to start dropshipping business and they're wondering where to find that uh hot selling product so this is the, the 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 center let me just browse through you see the interface and this is the section that inspired the developing of this as dropshipping app on by aliexpress so when you come to find product to sell under products so when you click on it you'll be able to see our selling product based on the default first tab or selling product which when you scroll down you'll see these products here okay but you can still filter them further so when they say out selling product is based on what other drop shipping stores are selling but first let's focus on these tabs so out selling product gives you the default listing below but you can search the product based on image so if you have a product image you can simply upload that image here aliexpress drop shipping center will search that product in their catalog based on the image you've uploaded here so when you go to sponsored products these are products that are sponsored sponsored on aliexpress but our main focus is the first hot selling tab which is here so uh, you can select the product you want to see based on the category you can filter okay i normally leave it the way it is default because most of the stores that we run online are general stores and also when you filter you limit uh, the, the the capability of this uh, you know tool to show you a uh, real-time uh, result okay so but you can ship you want to see products that are shipping from specific country either india or us when you say us it means you want drop shipping products customer suppliers who have warehouse in the united states or you want to ship you want to select product that ships only to us uh, only so you can filter this and play around with it you can also choose the delivery time you want the results to be based on product that ships within 10 days when you click 10 days the listing is going to change it's going to filter uh, out product that delays uh, in shipping in terms of whatever days you've entered here you can also dictate the product price how much and minimum price and maximum price to be displayed there so we use e-packet delivery mostly because it ships to united states and most of the country is free of charge so if you want to see uh, you know products that only use e-packet you simply select this e-packet uh, shipping courier uh, shipping company or if, if one product that offer free shipping products that have videos on their product page when you click videos it will, it will display these thumbnails will change so when you click on this product let's say you open it it will open to aliexpress so the product home page there must be a video of that product so and as i told you as you can see there's a video here as i told you products with vid videos help you uh you know with marketing it, it makes your work easier there are there are existing videos of the product that you want to sell rather than choosing a product that you are not sure you are going to get a product video for there are different types of products displayed here uh you can filter product by the number of orders if you want to drop ship to us so i always use united states as my measuring mini metric 
so i simply say select united states so you can you can select product based on orders when you click on orders uh, the, the the numbers are going to change here yeah, as you can see this is 3000 orders uh, 61 orders on the app the app the app that i've been telling you and also the rating of this product is 4.8 sales performance is good and also it gives you option of analyzing the product when you so when you click on analyze it will go, going to show you if the product is in increasing in terms of sales uh, and, and is the shipping reliable and stuff so uh, if you see a product that catches your eye uh, you simply uh, click on that product it will take you to the supply on aliexpress for the sake of time i've settled on this adhesive tape now that we have a, <coughs> we have a product how do we transfer this product from here to our shopify store now this has, it works the same as obelo now but this ad belongs to shopee belongs to aliexpress now this is the deezer app so you have to install the chrome uh, extension of deezer just go to chrome then type deezers d s e r s so we go to to shopify then we go to apps then uh, we are going to install the, the the app you click on add app now i've installed the app and uh, now i'm on the these are pricing page you just select what you want based on you know what you really want to achieve you are going to read about the features here then we have to link our store so link we link our store we click on uh link aliexpress we are linking our store uh, with Deezer aliexpress so the installation is complete uh sorry i've 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 rushed the process so that i don't bore you up with the time time lapse so um so this is the our dashboard on our Deezer app so this Deezer is already connected to our shopify store so that is what i was doing so on this app they also they also have their own product so these products uh, you can browse through the Deezer app product you can see uh, the number of orders who how many reviews blah 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 so they also have their own dashboard uh this is our app when we import a product it will appear here under import list when after working on working on the product and we are done working on the product we will have the product here under my products tab so we go back to aliexpress then we say add to deezers when we go back to deezers app here and you click on import list uh, our product will appear here now that is our product so that is our first product how to edit how to do everything uh, uh on this product to make it appear on shopify we'll talk about that uh, under adding product so so for now you've seen how to find or selling product using aliexpress dope shipping center so we can do this over and over but i want you to get both so i'm going to add like three to four products so yeah for me it's time lapse so i've managed to add two products from aliexpress drop shipping center because of time because also take your time when adding product from drop aliexpress drop shipping center because not only you are viewing those products there are other 1000 plus drop shippers who are also there uh hunting for products so this is just a method that other drop shippers use uh but it's not a must that you use it because you'll end up selling products that others are also selling so as we continue we're going to learn some unique ways to identify products that other people may not know that will make you stand out from the rest so we are going to add more products using different methods in our next lesson so on aliexpress you can filter the supply you want based as much which is matching the keyword that you, you you've inserted in the search bar as we did for the wireless bluetooth speaker or you can go with suppliers with the, the largest number of orders or you can go with the supplier who is highly rated if this means that the previous customers left positive feedbacks is written based on how the product is because mostly product on aliexpress some of them don't match the photo there's a disclaimer on aliexpress on their product pages which says allow zero to five or one percent difference because the product may not match the one you are seeing in the photo this is based on the you know photoshop color imaging and stuff people leave reviews based on such things is the seller communicative is the seller selling the product as described is the seller shipping delivery as described in the 
in their product pages so you check on that and also you check on how long the supplier has been on aliexpress so the more you be on aliexpress uh, you get to to be rewarded with aliexpress badges so now that you find a supplier on aliexpress you simply ask them if they allow drop shipping you can ask them for quality images suppose they have different images than the one they've listed on their site or if they have unique videos for the product which you are required to recreate you cannot use them the way they are so if they give you a video that they recorded of the product yeah, you need to go find other videos of the same product then you head it or at, at one point uh, in dropshipping business you'll be able or you'll be required now to brand the products now at that stage you'll be required to ship the product from china to your place or maybe to the videographer who will then create you a professional uh, product video specifically for your dropshipping store